بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته شابتر 6 بزنس ماركتس اند بزنس باينج بيهيفير وي ار سبيكينج توداي اباوت بزنس تو بزنس ماركتينج واتس باي واتس بزنس تو بزنس ماركت اند واتس بزنس ماركت بزنس باي بيهيفير ريفيرز تو ذا بايرز بيهيفير اوف ذا اورجانيزيشن ذات باي جودز اند سيرفيسز for the use in production of other products and services <coughs> that are sold, uh, rented, or supplied to others. Business to business process is a process where businesses buyers determine which products and services are needed to purchase and then find the weight and the truth among alternative brands. Business, what's, what's B2B marketing? What are business to business markets and what's B2B marketing? To answer this question, it's useful to consider the value chain that starts with a, with a customer demand for and for which the of uh, businesses, products or services are required. What's B2B marketing? Uh, to know what's B2B marketing and how much it's the process, it's uh, complex. Uh, take the, the example of the Simbi shirts uh, that we buy. Uh, they, they are not, uh, they, they don't uh, arrive in the, the shops by accident. It's a very complex process like this. Starting with with raw material, cotton material, ended by finally consumer. Is there, doctor, a differences between B two C and business to business marketing? For sure. The ten key factors that make business to business markets special and different. One. More complex decision making unit, DMU. More rational, more complex. Limited number of buying units, fewer behavior and needs based segment. Personal relationships are more important. Younger term buyers drive innovation far more on backing or packaging sub brands are less effective. Now let's speak uh, briefly about these 10 differences and I will let the details for you to consider. One, B2B markets have a more complex decision-making units. Is that decision-making unit or DMU in the business to business market, it's a high complex, complex. It's a, it's a, it's a combination of many members with a different, with a different uh, um, background and different experience and different culture and different motivations. <laughs> Different interest and different motivation, as I said. Um, each person who is a party to the DMU why also bring their uh, psychological and culture. And it's uh, uh, DMU are complex. Uh, based on what's what we are buying, what they are really buying, uh, a low uh, a low or high value, uh, a low or high risk. It depends. If it's uh, very simple, low risk and low value, I can give this mission for a genius. And if it's uh, more important, I will give it to a senior. It depends. Low risk with a low price, it's a very simple issue. Low risk with high value, I should give it to senior. And uh, low value but high risk, it's more important, 
and defining high high maybe we need a team of r d r d director production director purchasing director head of a legal department ceo and another members so we should consider the effect of this complication in the marketing when we deal with uh, uh, DMU. To be, to be, B2B buyers are more rational, um, are more rational, business to business are more rational are more rational using a rational approach in the decision making and uh, they are not using their emotion but they should leave their emotion at home uh, because it is a business to business purchasing uh, i mean i mean more formal and more accountability Converged with a personal purchase or B2C. And, and you should know that uh, the accountability is very important in a business to business marketing. B2B products are often more complex. Yes, it means that the products in a business to business are more complex. So, business to business company seeks to educate their target uh, audience by providing specific information. I mean, it is more complex. What it means? It's more technical. I mean that our sales team should be technical sales. Four, a limited number of buying units in a B2B market. The void of 80 and 20. Limited number of, buy of buyers buying a large amount of a, of a buying ratio. This figure explain that. The value of item in, in a negative relationship with a number of customers what it means it means that we are we are dealing with a small number of a big companies i mean key accounts and key accounts need to be more they need more support they they need more support and more technical support they uh, they they just not need uh, uh, to deliver a key account not only require that product deliver to them when and in uh, the quantity they need it, they also uh, routinely require services such as swift problem resolution and technical advice. Uh, the relationship between marketeer and customer in the business to business, it's not a relationship, a normal relationship. It's sort of partnership. It's partnership. And if we damage this relationship, uh, the many, many opportunities our company will use. Business to business market, markets have fewer behavior and needs based segments. Actually, we are segmenting the market of B2B markets uh, in a different way. <laughs> based on what they are focused on. There are a price focused segment. A segment of buyers are price focused. I mean uh, price oriented. Another segment, a quality and the brand focus segment. Another segment, a service focus segment. Another segment, a partnership focus segment. What it means? It means that it's a challenge for a marketeers to build and maintain a good relationship based on this segmentation basis.
Personalization chip are more important in a B2B uh, market. Considering, considering the number of uh, buyers, considering the longer the long term uh, relationship, uh, considering how much they affect our sales our sales volume, the personal relationship are more important in a business to business market than in a um, in a B two C marketing. It's a personal relationship and trust development. Uh, it's a very important, the importance of a personal relationship, uh, particularly, uh, it's, a, um, it's a very important, and the trust between the two bars is also very important. B2B buyers are long-term buyers, for sure they are. Considering the limited number of buyers, uh, so uh, long-term purchase or at least purchase which are expected uh, to be raised over a long period of time, it means more more relationship and more stronger relationship and the longer uh, term buyers. So, so we should consider that there is the importance of a relationship building in a business-to-business -business markets. It's particularly a key to customer. And second, the importance of technically focused sales team. Eight. B2B markets drive innovation is than consumer markets. B2B uh, companies that innovate usually does so as a, a response to an innovation that has already happened further up, up, upstream. Innovation more important in a B2B market. Uh, are often more carefully planned and successfully uh, commercialized in a business-to-business -business world. It means that we should create new something new all the time, thinking how to satisfy our customer need or want. Nine consumer markets very far on the package. They, they, they focus on the technical criteria than packaging and the other um, other simple issues in the marketing. Is the nature of a business to business market makes the buyers more focusing on the core product value than actual actual of it? Yes, they are not considering the backing because it's a part in our in, in their final products. Ten sub brands are less effective in B2B. Yes, sub brands sub brands are less effective in a business to business market. In a B2C market we consider brand and sub brand. If we are going to buy a car, you care about every component in this car. And what's brand? But in a business to business, I don't I, I, I don't mean that it's not important, but I, I mean that it's yet effective. Okay. Coming back, describe us the main the main factor affecting uh, a demand in um in the business-to-business -business markets. Market structure and demand, fewer and larger buyers. Drive demand, drive demand. <laughs> business markets decision process. Coming back and remaining that it's a more complex process 
more decision participants, more professional purchasing effort, buyers and, the, and, and seller more demanded. This is a business buyer behavior, the model of a business buyer behavior, environmental, organizational, interpersonal factors, and individual factors. This is all factors that influencing the buyer behavior in a business to business market. Business buyer behavior major influence on a business buyer's economic factor, price, service, personal factor, emotion. Major influence on a buyer's environmental factors, demand for product, economic outlook, cost of money, supply materials, technology, culture, politics, and the competition. <coughs> Major influence on a business buyer organizational factor, system, structure, purchasing pr procedures, purchasing policies, and finally objectives. Major influences on a buyer's behavior individual factors, motives, perception, preferences, age, income, education, attitude toward risk. The buyers, the buying process, the buying process. One problem recognition occurs when someone in the company recognizes a problem or a need. General need. Three product speci specification. Four supplier search. Five a personal qualification suppliers. Six supplier selection. Seven order routine specification. And eight performance review.